Guys, what's going on? Welcome back. We are doing... We're going to be... Uh, name... Uh, Rhino Blade, right? That's what we're calling it. Mod... ELD Rhino Blade. We are making a modern deck that Danny DB requested. Danny DB, classic gentleman. And Danny DB said... Play a modern deck containing Siege Rhino, and I guess that Stoneforge Mystic is good. I guess what I'm saying is play Abzan Stone Blade. So Rhino, that's not what we're looking. So Rhino, there's way more Rhinos than I was expecting. Four of these guys. Four of these ladies. And then we got Batter, Batter F, no. Batter S. And then Sword of. Alright, so we got Sword of Fire and Ice, I like. Sword of Feast and Famine is good. What are the two go to's? We got one, two, three, four. We have all of the swords. Except for the new, new ones, but. No, not Sword of Light and Shadow. Sword of Fire and Ice. And maybe a Feast and Famine? I don't know. I do want Murderous Rider. I think two Murderous Rider is sweet. Um, I think Birds of Paradise is probably good. Uh, let's take a look at some Abzan decks. I just want to have a starting point that I can... Siege Rhino. Let's see if there are any Siege Rhino decks. Yeah, Abzan Stoneblade. Oh, wow, there's a... Okay, Dark Confidant, Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf is obviously an inclusion. Fatal Push. It's, it's basically just... They're just... Um, combinations of fatal pushes and all kinds of things. This one has one Siege Rhino in the sideboard. They're mostly maxing out at two converted mana, which is why Siege Rhino is a little more rough. Some Azkaban decks. Nice. And this big do 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 do. What is an average number of four verdant? Eh, okay. All right, let's go with four verdant. I like lingering souls too, especially if we're talking about uh, having things to equip lingering souls with. What else draws us cards in this matchup? Is there anything like cool that we can add? Like cool and new? Any new cool shit, guys? That's what I'm asking. What's that new hotness that all the kids are playing? What's that you say? Oko? Hmm. I do like Tireless Tracker a lot. I think two Tireless Trackers is probably pretty good. But then I'm like, I'm worried about... I'm worried about this three slot. I always worry about getting... Drink all over. Three drop Gideon. I just don't like three drop Gideon, period. Let alone in here. We'll do one godless. Two temples. Because I think white and green are gonna be eh, maybe white and black are. 
But we do have Birds of Paradise. Maybe Birds of Paradise doesn't need to be in here. I mean, Noble Hierarch's just worse than Birds because it adds blue instead of black, and we have double black cards and things we want black mana for. Guy in the chat, what's going on, my dude? Um, and then we just want some combination of, like, Assassin's Trophy, maybe? we have. Mur I like Murderous Rider as, as, a, as a way to try it because, like, we do have equipment to put on it, which is pretty sweet. I'm tempted to just put three stone forges in here. Play ooze in the sideboard. Collector oof seems great. One rally the ancestors. Saxor Y. Oh, that's a foil. Let's not... Dang it. Three collector oofs. Um... I guess damping sphere is a thing. We definitely want thoughts in the main deck. One, two, three, I guess. Maybe three Thoughtseize, two Inquisition. Maybe three and three. It's so many. I think it's better than four and three. Inquisition. One, two, three. Okay, let's add more lands. Anonymous Red, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Grad school has kept me from watching your streams, but I definitely wanted... Two, drop by and reset and wish you a great rest of your Sunday. And Anonymous Red, thank you so much, man. Re I hope grad school is going great. And happy happy Sunday to you too, my friend. I like two shambling vents. Alright, let's add some basics. Will leave Leash seems pretty great. Waiting for Danny DB to come back so we can so we can get some. This is it twenty three lands? We have sixteen. We need seven more lands. Uh, two marsh. I wonder if flats would have been a better thing to search for here. Oh, I literally put two. Well, that's weird. Why would I do that? I don't know. I have no idea why we would do that. Two marsh flats, two wind swept. I do like Voice of Resurgence a lot. I'm surprised I don't have any Voice of Resurgence. Oh, I do. I have foils. I do like two Assassin's Trophies, just as like a catch-all. We're just playing like Jund basically, right? Like this isn't even We still need three more lands and we get two more two more whatever ofs. I could see like two Gadok Teague in the sideboard. I 
I don't know what the metagame looks like right now. We played a lot of Urza. Surgical good? We have Scavenging Ooze. I feel like Surgical's not as good, but I don't know. Um, I don't think we need Dismember. Like, this is the this is the color combination that needs Dismember the least, I feel like. We have Path, Fatal Push, Assassin's Trophy, and Murderous Rider. Like, I can't imagine we're in a situation where we're like, I wish I had a Dismember here. Plus Sword of Fire and Ice, if you want to... If you want to get technical. Um... Uh, we have we have collector roof instead of Sony Silence. It's the same exact card. All right, that's gonna be our mana base for now. I do like Liliana, but I don't know if we're a Liliana deck. We have no way to recruit the card advantage. Is the problem? A lot of the Liliana versions have Dark Confidant, which gives them extra card every turn. How about tire? Yeah, well, let's put the tireless tracker. Uh, one, two. Uh, I can see rest in peace being good. Oh, tears! What's going on, my dude? I'm wondering if we just put a Sword of Feast and Famine on the sideboard. Or a Sword of Light and Shadow seems good. Play Damping Sphere for like Tron lands. Mystic Sultai control deck? I don't even know what you're saying right now. Buddy. Third tail, what's going on? Maybe just like two plague engineers. Okay, so I'm going to borrow these cards from manatraders.com. If you guys are looking for a sweet service that lets you borrow cards, Magic Online cards, or physical paper cards even, check out manatraders.com. Plague Engineer. Wow, Plague Engineer is like a million freaking dollars online. And if you use the promo code and the link in the description below, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription, which is a great way to try it out. See if you like it. See if it works for you. Scoo's worth of salt on the board? Yes, that's why I have three copies over here. That is the exact reason. It's underneath the, the banner, so I don't blame you for not seeing it. Same thing with this guy, unfortunately. Um... Oh man, I'm glad you like the Impossible Offer. Yeah, it, when you consider that it's like a uh, it's a fast food version, usually you're like, well, the regular one has to be real good then. Yeah, I, I literally lost to this deck on stream the other day.
So, you know, there's that. And then when you're done selecting all the cards you want to borrow from mana traders, they will open a trade with you as follows. Bam. You just accept it. You take all the cards you borrowed. You hope you didn't forget anything. And then you're done. Well, you know, sometimes you're done. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's let's reopen here. This feels more like a magic online issue, but maybe not. I don't know. All right, let's try again. Okay. Submit. Yeah, I got all five. Uh, no Gavity Township because I feel like the uh, mana requirements are rough. I don't know. Gavity Township's good. I really like Gavity Township. I also like Vault of the Archangel. And then we are ready to go. Alright, let's see what this deck, this Siege Rhino Stoneforge Monstrosity can do. Rhino Blade. Take me by the hand. Um, okay, we'll keep it. I have two shambling vents as well. Okay. Let's see what you got here, Chief. Stormby, Oko, Bone Crusher, Arbor Elf. Bone Crusher Giant seems legit. What is this deck? I'm a big fan of this deck. I'm gonna take this Oko. I don't feel like dealing with that. That's some nonsense. You don't know what I want. I want a Rhino Blade to take my hand. Rhino Blade. Oh man, Doran and Brimaz in the three spot. Good lord, dude. Good lord. You're a maniac. Okay, so Arbor Elf's gone. Wooded Foothills is gone. Stomp is not a card. I don't know why. So your hand is Bone Crusher Storm Breath. Okay, well, I'm just going to pass and hope we don't die to a Stone Breath Dragon. They don't have another land here, though, so maybe we just kill a bird. Because they have to draw land in order to play Storm Breath Dragon here, so let's keep them off of that. Okay, well, got a stay of execution here. Unfortunately, this tireless tracker is going to die to a stomp. Let's go get a green white.
There are a lot of things that can stop this. That is not one of them. I'm just gonna say no here. I'm not gonna play Tireless Tracker just to give them a reason to Bone Crusher Giant. They are in a storm breath here. Danny, what's going on? Welcome back. We got a blade and a rhino. Rhino blade. Okay. Old stormy boy. Storm city. No blocks. So another only card is Bone Crusher Giant. That's not bad. I think we just want to Siege Rhino here. So we have... Hmm. Okay, well. Let's get a Plains. It's the only card we don't have two, two sources of. I mean, if they hit another land, they can monstrous this. So it's a 7-7, seven, seven, so it's, we take 11, we go to 3. It's brutal. <laughs> God. That's disgusting. I was thinking we could race with both Lifelink and Batterskull, but... Not, not as likely when they hit us for an extra 7 damage this turn. And they have a Bone Crusher Giant to deal us an extra three. Yeah. Also pro white, so we can't even, you know, shoot it. All right, that was a good game. I had a, they literally played nothing but one mana creatures and uh, let's take out the pass, bring in Plague Engineers. Cadoc Teague, doesn't do anything. Scavenging Use doesn't do anything. Collector Roof doesn't do anything. Damping Sphere, yeah, all right. Uh, this is literally the first game, so. Ways to deal with Storm Breath, we have four. So we have as many ways to deal with it as they have Storm Breath Dragons. This could be very good. I will keep it. Bird of Paradise. This is now currently the second game. That is correct. Let's get just a Godless Shrine here. And we'll play Tigoif. What blades are we playing? Main deck we have Sword of Fire and Ice and Batter Skull. On the sideboard we have Sword of Feast and Famine and Sword of Light and Shadow. That's pretty incredible because it doesn't actually... Wow, that's amazing. Huh. 
Because this doesn't go to the graveyard, it doesn't actually buff the Tarmogoyf. So it's literally a two mana instant that can kill Tarmogoyf without adding an instant to the graveyard. That's pretty, that's pretty elegant. When it's in the yard, it's a creature. Which would have still buffed the Tarmogoyf either way. I think killing their elf would have been fine, but I don't think they're going to do much at four mana that they're not going to do at three. But I could be wrong. So... Yeah, that's fine. Do you make my do you make my Tarmogoyf? Interesting. Hmm. Huh. Oh, Thwalk, man, that first shower after three days of camping, buddy. Ooh. I mean, I'm tempted to just get rid of this now. I almost want another Murderous Rider in the deck. We could just play Lingering Souls and and then next turn we can have Lingering Souls and like Assassin's Trophy or if we draw land we have Flyers to get through. I think that's fine. I mean, they can't exchange anything now, so that's okay. 15 guys, one toilet, one shower. Didn't make it easy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Was what's-his-name also there? You know, old what's-his-name. Typical, typical gamma set. You know, what's his name? Untap a permanent, sure. So now you have three minutes. You can play Bone Crusher and draw a card. This is great. I'm loving whatever is going on here. Oh, they made that a they made that a food instead of a instead of negating the timer life. Okay. Baby wa what baby wipes became life for maintaining some amount of hygiene. Yikes. That's really good. Man, the value from this bone crusher giant is unreal.
Ah, uh, Temple Garden. No. Land. Oh, I was hoping for a land. Butter my biscuits. I mean, is it literally... I wish we had a land here, because then we can actually play two things, any two things, which uh, either means this and a three drop, this and a three drop, or this and equip. I don't think Kiora is the biggest problem. I think Oko is definitely a bigger issue. Attack Kiora, attack Kiora, attack Kiora. They can double block here, which is whatever. I mean, it could set them up for a blowout, though, if we have Fatal Push or Path or anything else. I mean, if we can hit by a dragon, it's going to be by four. So, yeah, this is actually what I was hoping for. Just one block. Nice and safe. And if we remove this, I think we're in good shape. I feel like we're doing okay here. Still looking for that one land so we can play sword and equip. That's all I want to do. Wow, that's a dude. Oh, they didn't give a trample. I was like, I was like, wait, why is it? Because they made it a 4 4 and then they drew the card off this. Oh, all right. Plague Engineer are going to hit two dudes right now. Elf Druid, Ogod Warrior, Giant. Okay, so no overlapping creature types, unfortunately. Uh, f this is interesting because Engineer can take out the two green guys, and the pro red on the Tarmogoyf seems pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. And the game has ended. Okay. How much damage is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to the face? If we went to the face, we'd probably kill Kiora. Uh, yeah. One of the things I'm working on to try and improve my magic play is not getting stuck on the perfect play, like Sword Equip. I have to keep reminding myself that sometimes you just have to play it over. That's, that's true, yes. Did you get your custom commands back? I don't think so, no. Uh, I don't think any of the commands have been have been returned, I, which sucks because there were a ton of them and I don't know what they were. I think we're actually fine like this. I like this. This hand seems great. Third deck seems sweet, though. How am I supposed to know what a Scrover and a Bover are? I don't know, man. I wish, like, I seriously wish I could have just saved them or downloaded them. I like turn two, turn three, turn four. 
Okay. I think we're just getting a goblet shrine. We want a second black source for sure. Okay, seems good. Are you gonna untap it and cast the second thing this turn? Oh god. Where's a Fulminator Mage when you need one? Well, actually, Franklin, a Fulminator Mage cannot destroy a snow-covered forest because despite having the snow super type, it is still a basic land. Hmm? So please do not mislead your viewers into thinking that they can destroy lands, snow-covered basic lands, with Fulminator Mage. Hmm? Okay. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. My friend doesn't like you. I don't like you either. Oh, that character is 100% named Milton. I don't know who he is, but that's a Milton if I ever heard one, my dude. Okay. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Oh, I did a thing. Oh, man, I'm in. <laughs> okay. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look, he's got a sword, and then the flavor text is how a sword will travel. That's solid. And it looks like he's holding the sword. What more can he ask for? Let's take a gander. Oko Anagruel Spellbreaker? Oh, boy. Let's get rid of this Oko for sure. And now it's Tarmogoyf's friggin' huge! All right, so we know all the information we had is gone, and their one card is a mystery. So once we can do a siege runner next turn, sword equipped the turn after that. Bloomin' Marsh. Bloomin' McMarshalls. I think we're gonna just go find an overgrown tomb and play your boy. I don't want them to double block here, so I don't think that's valuable to us. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, shoot. Well, that's a dude, isn't it? If my mouse could stop lagging from, from the wirelessness of life, I would appreciate that. That would be great. Sure, you got it. Let me click OK. Yep, have no idea what's causing this bullshit interference. This is really frustrating. All right. Turn it off. Turn it on again. I don't know. Uh, let's just get planes here. This guy's got trample and pro red. Shoot. Let's hit this little nerd. Oh, fatal push? Biscuits. 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 That rhino's got trample. Game's over. Oh man, rhino blade unbeatable. Unbeatable. I'm tempted to put more sword and one more murderous rider in the deck. It's a murderous rider. It's a murder is a rider. Oh god, you're right, I am playing modern. Oh not modify, submit. Dude, this mouse is like really drove driving me nuts here. That actually surprisingly worked, and I didn't think it would. But now it's like not doing it so smith a trade please what's going on why isn't this submitting why can't I hit cancel but not fucking submit? What's going on? This is really frustrating. I'm just trying to live my life here. Okay, this is unbearable. Hold on. Okay, so let's add, add one, hmm, we can cut one Lingering Souls. What else do I want to add? Like, I like another sword, I like the, the idea of another sword. Just because sorting up a rhino seems legit. I think, I, I think we're okay like this though. I do not have the black red sword. This hand seems good. I'm a fan.
I will keep. Interesting. Let's go get a temple garden with this bad boy. We also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 11, 11 1 drops, and we didn't hit any, so we're going to draw one next turn, just to be clear. Which is going to really throw our our turn off here. Ready? Oh, that, that was not it. You always get batter skull in case they don't have an answer for this guy. Oh, another dark confidant. Mm hmm. Let me guess, you're gonna make me sacrifice this. Oh man, who saw that coming? Spoiler alert, literal everyone. Abzan for Zabzan is Abzan forever. Ha ha. I don't know what's going on here. They got real. They thought that was real funny. I assume you're playing another Dark Conf. Tireless Tracker. Into Fetch Land. Ghost Court. Okay. push. It's good when you have a Tarmogoy. Next turn we can go Siege Rhino, then we can go Batter Skull, then we can go Siege Rhino. Murderous Rider can come down at some point. This ain't Abzan, this is Rhino Blade, fool! There's the Dark Confidant we knew about. Okay. I'll get a white source. I'm gonna get a white source because we want to be able to activate Shambling Vent. I guess we could still do that because we have Temple Garden. But we have like three green, three black, discard a card. They have no cards in hand? Sure. No. No. Shambling Vent's just worse, right? We can cast everything in our hand. For sure. I 
I mean, they're just going to make us sack this, which is fine. And we play Batter Skull. They can't make us sack it, so we discard something, probably whatever we draw. Man, they're just drawing all the cards. That's interesting. So they can't make a sacrifice anything. We're just gonna have to discard something. I think we're discarding Siege Rhino here, unfortunately. I mean putting a sword of fire and ice on a murderous rider seems very, very good. This is why we This is why we wanted more murderous riders, because it kills a planeswalker early and then a late game it gives you something to equip your your things to. That's that's fine. That's just fine. All of this is just fine. And now look, they have no cards. So it's pure value, guys. Unfortunately, our hand is great, and I don't really want to discard any of these things, but... is actually really annoying. I'm just going to say sword. Well, that would have been good to discard. I discarded sword because this guy is trample. And if they want to double block here, that's totally fine. Main. I feel like flashing and batter skull is probably the best thing we can do, even though we have a siege right now. I think we're just cashing in Siege Rhino here because I'd rather have the 4 5 Trampler than the 4 4 non Trampler. And Inquisition is pretty easy to discard. I feel like they just drew a removal spell. like you do. That's not a removal spell at all. Neither is that. <laughs> well, now they can't activate Liliana. 
unless they want to interesting hmm I could write a murderous writer I guess Okay. Well, this is more important than than playing Batter Skull here for sure. But we still get to play Batter Skull. So what do we got? Sorcery, Planeswalker, Artifact, Land, Creature, Instant. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Plus a big ass Tarmogoyf. Oh my god, they're so good at this game. Hmm, okay. Sure. Fascinating. Six, seven. So we could trade here. But then we don't have a creature, and like they can just make us sacrifice the stone forge. And then it's gonna take us at least two more turns to bounce and replay this guy. I think that's still our best option here. <laughs> Maybe forget this fat dude has trample? Nope, they did not forget that. Yep, we're definitely eating this Tarmogoyf. Man, my kingdom for a slaughter pact right now. Yep. Oh, they fatal pushed it instead of Liliana, Liliana ing. I guess it's more. I guess it's more efficient ultimate. Mean mugger, what's going on? Oh, Badger just randomly gifting 10 subs like you do. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much. Badger, I don't even understand. Badger, thank you so much, dude. Something good. And nothing is good when they have Liliana, an active Liliana on board. So let's just go to the next game. Let's take out this sword. We'll bring in these two swords. 
I think Plague Engineer naming human is pretty good. I also kind of want to take these out for scavenging ooze, but maybe not all of them. Oh, the thank yous are, are, you're hearing them on my end. I had the desktop audio off, so now you should thank hear you. all the thank yous your heart can, your heart can take. Really wish this mouse was working though. It ain't. Take out discard for threats. Is that true? I think that's actually good. I got those we'll bringing a uh, Tarmogoyf. I'll just take out all of this card. I, I I think that's fine. Whatever happened to Loxon Smiter? That's a good question. We would have also accepted Nullhide Ferox, Obstinate Bayloth, or Wiltly Fleege. I almost had Fire and Ice instead of Light and Shadow. That would not be ideal. That's a yikes for me, dog. All right, that's a keeper. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Screw it, overgrown tomb. Oh shoot, they're gonna make me discard something? Oh snap. So long, tireless tracker. I hardly knew you. It's your boy. It's you, it's he's dead. Your boy died. Dude, I literally have no idea what's going on with this mouse right now. It's actually driving me absolutely insane. I'm not sure where the air interference is coming from, but it's really driving me bananas. B A N A N A S. If it isn't your boy, say 
Stopping by. Tireless nerd. Let's get an overgrown tomb. Sword of Feast and Famine. Eight to seventeen, I like it. They did nothing? Hmm. Well. We're not attacking with Shambling Vent now. You gonna kill one of these guys? Sure. That's an extra turn, I guess. The clock is real. <laughs> All right. Mono shambling vents dot deck. It's actually very good. So, yeah, let's get another white. I want to maximize the amount of lands we have to activate these lands. Because if we hit one more land, we can activate both Shambling Vents. Man, Lingering Souls is no joke. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. That seems good, right? Lingering Souls has never been a joke. You're right. You're right. Typical Katie. Always right. Oh, all right. He's like, oh, okay, you're just going to equip it? Sounds good. Well, looks like we're about even. I'll begin sideboarding. I'll submit. hand is terrible and I really appreciate not having to keep mulliganing. That's better. I'll put probably a temple garden on the bottom. I think our odds are hitting a, a second, a third land is pretty good. Um,
Well, they didn't do anything for us. Let's play this guy and pass. Ideally, they go Dark Confidant, we kill it. We play Tarmogoyf, that's like a 7 6. Tarmogoyf's power and toughness could never be a 7 6 based on its ability to s sow the oats of the s thing and the stuff. Ugh, shut it, Milton. Wow, that's that's hurtful to Milton. Actually, you see, well, Tarbogoyf is a lur it's known as a what's known as a Lurgoyf, you see. And uh its power and toughness grows every day. Well, we got dose five fives. Four fives? Four or five. Frank Tarboglyph, as we've seen, as we've seen, simply mentioned, Tarboglyph can never be a five-five. You understand because of its its ability uh, only grows uh, the toughness one higher than the power. Okay. Well, whatever you say. Oh, I see. That's very nice. I guess I'll sack this permanent, this creature. I guess that's what. I'll just play another one. Yeah, it seems good. Let's do that. Okay. We did it. Can discard a fatal push here. Because then they gotta discard one too. Uh I guess we'll discard Fatale Pushino. It's from the Italian. Gideon. He's like, I know you got that murderous rider in there. This time we're going to 5 6. Sweet Jesus. It's probably dead. I'm lurking while playing Hearts of Iron 4, but I just want to say I appreciate Milton and the epic self-owns in both directions. <laughs> Josh is like, that's it, I gotta say something. Getting real tired of these these removale spells. What are we playing here? Fulminator Mage. Oh shit. You just gonna kill my overgrown? Wow, that's rude. This dude has no chill. Well, we're gonna see if we draw land here. Cause that'd be great. We did not, so we can't do anything against this fucking shit, Liliana. All right, that's cool. I actually, I don't even enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I, I I prefer sometimes I'll just get my deck and I'll just put it on the trash can, and then my opponent can do whatever they want. They can just play their lands and their spells, and I'll just sit there and, you know. Oh, because they had they had two Gideons. That was a problem. I thought they had one Gideon, but they had two Gideons. So. Yep, guess I'll discard Batter Skull because never casting that dude. Why did I crack this? What a stupid idiot. Thank you. What an absolute dodo. Your mana base belongs to us. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. What the heck fairy tale features Siege Rhino anyway? That's a good question. Well, Fulminator Mage, I guess, is the is the tech card against the person who's literally just playing a fair strategy with basic lands. Basic as in like normal lands, not like Tron lands. So I guess that's uh, I guess that's our own fault for you know not not playing around the Fulminator Mage.
Yes. Snap keep. It's kind of a snap keep. It's kind of like a, I'll keep it. I hope I throw, draw a third land. It's got an overgrown tomb. And we'll, we'll start at 15. Just like Richard Garfield intended. Murderous Rider deals you two. Thoughtseize deals you two, man. What is this? Dread Presence? Guardian Idol? Death Cloud? Damnation? Alright, I don't care about Damnation. Okay, I turn the fan on. And the mouse starts flipping out. I don't understand why. Then I turn the fan off. And the mouse seems to work fine. Does that make any sense to anybody? It's a wireless mouse. The fan is plugged in through USB. But not connected to the computer. I don't... That's super weird, man. I think I just take Guardian Idol here. It's not exciting, but it forces them to play like a... At least a fair game. Thank you. Alright, well, no place. That's actually good. Sure. Diagraph Sergeant, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I walked away for almost a year. I'm glad I made it back for Mike's birthday. <laughs> I am too. I am also glad. I'm just trying to figure out if, like, a, a USB powered fan could disrupt a mouse that's wireless. I don't know, man. That seems weird, but it seems like... Okay, so look, the mouse is running fine. I turn on the fan. Okay, I think it's okay. Maybe we're good? Maybe it was a fluke? Okay, so you basically... You did good. So we're probably just going to play other Lingering Souls from our hand. That leaves us with two Lingering Souls in the graveyard. I assume they're going to Damnation if they hit another land. which, But they have no incentive to Damnation if we don't play more Lingering Souls. So, more Lingering Souls it is. You know, discard a card. Sure. Okay, Guardian Idol. No, the mouse is connected to the computer. The The fan is connected to a USB hub. That's not... Has nothing to do with the computer. It's just a USB charging hub. It's just plugged into the wall. Well, I would like land here, but... Yeah, I'm not going to walk into a damnation here. I'd rather just keep Murderous Rider in case they play like Kalidus. <laughs> Is a death cloud for two? It's a Kalidus. And a fatal push. Okay, so your hand is Dread Presence, Death Cloud, Damnation. Just 
So many murderous riders. I mean, I guess I'm probably just going to play this one. Like, I need to... Like, they have to play Damnation first. Because they're not going to play death cloud for like three and then i sacrifice all the spirits and but then they lose so much i don't know man death cloud's a scary card maybe i should have taken death cloud other than guardian idol yep that's what we were thinking uh the wireless mouse receiver is on the back of my computer actually so maybe that's just like too noisy of a place but i don't want to keep it on the front you know what i'm saying you guys know what i'm saying so one, two, three. Next turn they can Death Cloud for two. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm really not enjoying this Death Cloud shenanigans. Death Cloud for three. Pop, pop, pop. And then we have one, one, one. Did you try asking the ghosts in your house if they could just not? Can you just not, ghosts? Oh god, that was the. Oh god, here we go. Oh, they're dark petitioning. Well then. Guess I'll never know what that is. I feel extremely red right now. Ashiok? What in the Wow, that's really that's that's really good when my strategy revolved around the four lingering souls. I'm tempted to just play, have Shambling Vent hit this Ashiok with the Voice of Resurgence. I don't think that's better than making a clue. I'm really like, I think, I think Death Cloud's actually unbeatable. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm quite afraid of it. I'm tempted to just why don't I just attack their face? I don't know. Maybe I should just be attacking their face for four. Cause then they're but then they're just gonna death cloud or they're gonna play this dread presence. Deals two damage to any target. Ugh. Vomit. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, look, that's my whole hand. And then you're going to Ashiok. Oh, it's like two of these. Oh, yeah, we're having a good time. Everybody's having fun playing Magic the Gathering. I should have just taken this. What was I afraid of a Guardian Idol for? What a dumb play. What an absolute boner play. I figured I would just draw better and then I would have inquisition or thought seize or some kind of sizable amount of pressure but this is all yep now we're going to top deck a inquisition or a thought seize godless shrine not terrible i'm just gonna kill ashiok here because i can Because if they somehow choose to target their own graveyard, it's pretty rough. Oh, you're just gonna, oh man. Are you really supposed to put it in the front? 
I never felt that way because I always felt like they would snap off or they'd be really uh, exposed. That's a yikes for me, dog. Oh, good. Fantastic. How nice. Let's draw Murderous Rider number three. Blooming Marsh. If that was an untapped land, we could attack with Shambling Vent and then kill Liliana. But it wasn't, so we can't. Just another reason why I absolutely hate lands like Blooming Marsh and a Concealed Courtyard. Gonti. Wow, this deck is gas. Let's go to the next game. So, Mono Black, huh? Take out this sword, bring in Light and Shadow, Feast and Famine, um, Gadok Teagues, shut off everything, Two of these and a path. Alexa, when is Mike Dad's coming? When is Mike's dad coming back? I see Seed, Seed Shrino and Stoneforge. That's literally, that's literally all that Danny wanted when we built this monstrosity. <laughs> My Alex responded as well. Fan, you're welcome. You're welcome, Katums. My dad was released in 1962 from prison? I knew they'd let your dad out eventually. Let's get a godless shrine based on this hand. Oh god, it's doing the mouse nonsense again. Well, look at it go. Can you see it like... Okay, I'm gonna put both in the front. I gotta go. I can't. I can't deal with it. Oh, it just stopped. Okay, I guess I can deal with it for a, a tiny fraction of, of, a, of a millimeter more. The new Jund Walker? There's a new Jund plane walk? Planeswalker? What are you saying right now? Liliana and Lifebane Zombie. Oh, jeez. Let's get rid of the Lifebane Zombie because I feel like Liliana is actually manageable with a Voice of Resurgence on the board. Whereas if they play Lifebane, they get to take our Gadok Teague, which is worse. Of course, their two four mana spells now are creatures, so. Field of, Field of Ruin and the Liliana. Oh. In interesting. Well, okay. Solid top decks. Solid top decks. Field of Ruin. Seems good. I 
I don't know if Voice of Resurgence is doing it for me. Like, it's just not that good. I really like Dark Confidant or, like, your better two drop. How is Ren and Six a Jund Walker? It has no black in it whatsoever. Do you mean Gruel Walker? Or Red Black Walker? Red Green Walker? I mean... Loxon Smiter is good, but like we need more 2 drops, not 3 drops. Oh, Bitter Blossom sounds legit. I feel like we just want more lands. I feel like we're losing this mono black deck, and I, there's nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. Jay Pisto, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is just not fun. All right. So let's make some tweaks here. Got one planes. Um. We want isolated. Woodland Cemetery. Take out these three. I just want to add Bitter Blossom to all the decks. Maybe we just add four birds. Maybe that is the, the solution. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen green sources on turn one. Is that enough? It's 25% of our deck. Which means every one in four cards we should hit a green source. So we should theoretically have a green source in every opening hand. I'm going to add one more sword because I do like bird into sword. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Yes, I will play first. Oh, look, we're doing it. We're already doing it. Although this isolated chapel is already screwing us, but that's fine. No, I, d I definitely don't want colorless lands in the deck. I like Avenue Township a lot, guys. I just don't think it's... I don't know if it's safe. Like, I feel like our color requirements are too high.
Uh oh. Oh, all right. Living the dream. Oh, oh poops. Um. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of Emery. So you have one card in your hand? You have Snow Covered Island and Jessica. What did they mulligan to like nothing? Did they mulligan to four? Wow. I would have done that during my turn so that if I drew a removal or a, you know, a thing, a, the thing with the stuff. This puts three power, this puts two power. I'm just gonna go with the two power because next turn we can do both if we don't hit a land, so. If we hit like a Thought Caesar and Inquisition, like we're able to snatch both of those cards. Okay. We're basically unbeatable, guys. Um, I think Murderous Rider can come out here. I think Fatal Push can come out here. I think we can bring an Oof. Teague. Thoughtseize for probably Sword of Light and Shadow. Let's probably take out both of these for Feast and Famine just to get them to discard things. I think this is fine. Keep in path for like Urza. Uh, I will keep this hand. So overgrown into Stoneforge seems good. I want Astrolabe. See, now they did it. Witching well, mirrored and besieged. What are the actual turds? Every cast an artifact, create a one-one mirror. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card, then discard a card. There are fifteen more artifacts in the graveyard, and opponent loses the game. Oh boy, I feel like it's still Emery, and we can deal with this with Assassin's Trophy. Because Emery actually just seems good. I don't know, magic's hard. Okay, so Witching Well is gone. Vista, okay. Seems good. So we know all the cards in your precious hand. I'm gonna cast this turn, bobble, bobble. Uh, tell you what this dude is. There you go. I mean, we're leaving it down because I think it's better for them to get a free bobble out of the next turn rather than uh, get a get an Urza in play. Especially if we're using our trophy on this, we don't have. Uh, Sammy, it costs one less for each artifact you control. When it enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard, which they did. And then you can choose an artifact in your graveyard. You can cast it this turn. Okay, so this is a much different version than I was thinking. I have no idea what this is. 
Okay, that's actually great because we can snatch their their lone Urza. However, they get to draw for their turn, they get to draw from the Mishra's Bobble, and they get to Mishra's Bobble again, so not actually ideal. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty insane. Oh my god, this is infinite, right? Wow, that's insane. Okay. Gadok Teague doesn't even do anything. I was expecting like War of Inventions and things. Um Scavenging Ooze. I'm tempted to just take out the birds altogether. Sphere does stop it, but it doesn't do anything else. I'd rather just scavenging ooze to eat the graveyard cards. Man, we just cannot hit sideboard cards. We have three collector roof, three scavenging ooze, seven discard spells, seven and seven, that's 13. I'm gonna keep this anyway. I think this is, I think the hand itself is fine. I guess I'll have to resign myself to playing my main board cards. God, I hate you so much. I don't. I don't. Super Fritz, you're my favorite. Let's get a Temple Garden. Let's play this to defeat the Huns. Did they ask for donors? Did they ask for hot cross buns? I'm actually just going to keep, uh, I'm just going to Murderous Rider this now instead. No, I always want to... Oh my god, I almost always click the wrong half. One day I'll put a swift end to you. Milton is my least favorite. Well, actually, I'm just a figment of Frank's imagination. I don't have a real body. Oh, God. Oh, Co. Oh, Co. Oh, Co. Mix Smoko. Hmm. They just do a little swapsy here. That's pretty good. Oh, they just made it a 3-3. That's even better. Urza? 
Wow, their deck is great. I don't know if this Abzan deck has what it takes, and I don't know if I can do it. I don't have a good enough Abzan grasp on this, on this archetype, maybe. Hmm. What's up, Nico? Um. Well. Definitely just getting rid of this. So whenever you cast an artifact spell, so that doesn't count. This does. Yikes. Guess we could also just play Murderous Rider here. That's interesting. Okay, well. Hmm. One, two, three, four, one, two. Seller, but it did, did, did. Okay, pass. I did not think I would see Mirrodin besieged in modern. I think we might be dead. Danny, I wish I could have I wish I could have done something better for you here, but I feel like modern's just doing a lot more broken things now. Is Oko gone? They bounced their own Oko? Okay. Stoneforge Mystic seems good. Two, three, four. Siege Rhino. Stoneforge. I think Sword of Feast and Famine is probably better here, right?
guess it depends on what they do. I want to get Batter Skull. I think Batter Skull is better on the board. They just have so much pressure on us right now. Yep, that's a good one. That's a yikes for me, dog. You know when you're eating Captain Crunch and it flies up your mouth? That's the best and worst. Is it the best? Why is that the best feeling? Also, why is your mouth so sensitive? What's happening right there? Are we dead? I think we're dead, right? We blocked these two. We still take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 right now. Jesus. Oh, plus they're all like making blue with Urza. Wow. Why does it feel like every every card in Modern Horizons is just upside down broken? Like, it just seems absolutely insane. Captain Crunch is actually made of glass. <laughs> oh my god. Block the two ten tens. Take four, eight, fourteen. sure I guess on the bright side they can't trigger it <laughs> why does Captain Crunch fuck up your guys' mouths that's crazy She is definitely a girl. That is definitely correct. Oh, they could activate it. I don't know how they did that. I don't. Oh, because they have 13 mana floating. <laughs> of course, because of course they do. Um. All right. So six, eight, six. I'll block here, and we had a good game. All right. All right. Unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna go get some food. Danny, thank you so much for letting me play this. This was not one of our more successful efforts, unfortunately. Maybe Murderous Rider is too cute. I thought it was good every time we cast it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Siege Rhino just isn't as good. For four mana, like, when you look at a card like Urza and you look at a card like Siege Rhino, it's just like, maybe it's just, maybe the Rhino just doesn't do what it needs to anymore. I don't know. Like, would the deck be better if you just took Siege Rhino out and put Dark Confidant? Maybe. Maybe. Abzan's hard, though. Because it's the most fair deck in the format. Like, Abzan and Jund are the most fair decks. And I think Jund is the stronger of the two. But, um, you know, we still had swords and rhinos. And we were attacking with swords and rhinos. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Danny, I always appreciate the support. You were awesome, dude. And if you guys want to ever have me uh, critique or take a look at a deck you guys have, you can send an email to frank at franklapore.com. Or you can check out my Twitch page. Uh, the information is down there as well. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. You can check me out at CoolStuffInc.com, ManaTraders.com. Thank you. All of those places. Pilot Devin, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really, really appreciate you. Heavy breathing cat is right. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.